Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I edit a video in Camtasia 2020. Alright, so I'm going to be editing a tutorial video here, and it is on Camtasia. And I'm just going to show you my workflow here in the Camtasia 2020. So I did a couple of screencast recordings, but the only one that I need is this one right here. First thing is I'm going to drag this onto the timeline. And then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And then, okay, so this is where it starts when I start to say hello. And you know, this is my whole workflow. I've edited literally over a thousand videos on our YouTube channel alone. We have 1300 videos and I've pretty much just used Camtasia the whole time. So this is how I do things. And we pump out videos pretty much every day, so I've learned to do certain little hacks, certain things to speed up the process. So first thing I do is I edit the audio, the color correction, before I even start clipping. So. First, I'm going to alter this video. I don't usually like the taskbar showing whenever I have a screencast recording, so I'm going to click this crop button. I'm going to crop that out. I don't like it showing. It's just like a visual preference for me. If I'm showing a website, I usually crop out the top and the bottom. And then here I'm going to raise this just slightly. This I'm going to be turning into a circular thing. You'll see that in just a moment. And then now, okay, now I'm going to go to the favorites tab and I'm going to do color adjustment. I've got that here already, so I'm going to drag that onto the video, do some quick color adjustment. I do that before I start editing, not after, just so I get it out of the way so that by the time I get to the end of this video, I know that I can just render it. Let's see what that looks like. And I usually go like this to see what it's initially looks like and then I hit control Z to bring it back so I can alter it. All right. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm going to be doing like a whole circular thing, so that's why I was like adding a little bit more color to myself. And then I'm going to chop the beginning part because I know that's when I start speaking and then I'm going to hit control backspace and then it's going to delete this but at the same time moving everything to the front so I don't actually have to manually drag it over and then I'm going to add the circular piece this is a new thing that I've been doing in Camtasia 2020 and I really like it I really like this new feature so I've literally just taken the circle shape that I've favorited, put it in the favorites tab, drag it down here and covered my face. And then I'm going to head over to track three, which is above me. It's above the video of me. I'm going to right click, go to alpha. And then there you go. There's the circular version of me. Now I'm going to highlight it and make it bigger. The cool thing is with the rectangle, you know, I couldn't have it as large because it was a big rectangle. But when you make it circular, you can actually go a bit bigger like this. So I'm going to leave it at that, but I'm going to now click on this, click on the arrow keys and move it a bit over and then highlight again and then move everyone over, moving it over to the right, clicking the arrow key. And then there we go. Just click out of it to see what it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to minimize everything and then I'm going to quickly stretch this out to the whole thing. I'm going to be altering that at the end, but I like to have it while I'm editing so that I can see that, you know, I am in the circle the whole time. So I'm going to enlarge this again. And then now I'm going to start playing the video and chopping things out. So here we go. So after I've cropped this accordingly 
added color to me, add me in the circle. Oh, one more thing that I forgot is noise removal. So this is also in the favorites tab that I've added from the audio tab. I'm going to place that in there. Now you can see that because I put everything in the favorites tab, I only have to go to the favorites tab and I don't have to go to all these other different tabs to get all the features. So that saves time. And that is also within the new Camtasia 2020. All right, so now I'm gonna press the space bar and I'm going to start editing. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to silence the audio in your media clips all at once in Camtasia 2020. Okay, so I, there's a big space there, so obviously I wanna cut that out. So I'm gonna highlight these two areas. I use a lot of the keyboard, so right now, to, to get it more precise, I use the comma and the period to move it frame by frame. And then I wanna get right to the end there. Then I click the S, which is the split key. Then I'm going to highlight this, highlight this, click S split key, highlight, highlight. To highlight multiple things, you click Control, this is on a PC, by the way, and then you click your media tracks and then you have the yellow around it. From here, I'm gonna click Control Backspace and it's gonna move, it's gonna remove the space automatically so I don't have to drag it. Now I'm gonna start playing again. All right, so I'm here on the Camtasia timeline and let's say you've been editing along and you've, you know, you've spliced everything and you've got some media clips here and then you realize, oh no, it was all supposed to be silent. I don't want this audio in each clip. Now this is just some test footage of my business partner and best friend Reed. And you know, the manual way of doing it is clicking on it and then like going to edit audio and then you know dragging it down. Or you know Okay, so I'm gonna remove that sort of slight dead space there. Okay, so I'm going to click Control, click on this, click on that, highlight S for the split key. Then I'm going to move the cursor mouse over, Control, click, click, S to split, click Control, and then I'm going to click Control backspace to remove the space. Then I'm going to play again. And you do this all throughout the whole thing. bunch of clips and you want to do it all at once you just need to highlight everything and how you do that is you just left click on your mouse drag it down make sure you have this thing highlight everything make sure everything is yellow and then right click on one of them and then go to silence audio or as you can see they have a shortcut you can click shift s so I'm just going to click on silence audio here and then now you see there's no audio in any of them and they've now been all silenced all at once. Okay, so uh, there's now a space so I'm going to click control, control, click the S split key, go over here, control, control, click the S split key. Control. I'm clicking control while clicking the left um, mouse button so that I can highlight this. Now I'm clicking control backspace to remove that. Continue on. Just a quick way to do it is you've ended up, you know, slicing everything. You've already gone through the edit and then you realize it needs to be silenced. You could initially, to save you the headache of doing that, just silence it from the beginning before you start doing it. So you would just go right clicking on it, click silence audio, and then go through the edit. But this is a hack and method if you forget to do that. Okay, there's some more dead space here. So I'm just gonna move the cursor over, split that. I'm gonna play this because this might be a mistake. So that is how you silence all Yeah, that was a mistake. See I can read my own audio. I can tell when if it's a mistake because um, it looks similar, this audio, 
looks similar to this audio and when you've been looking at it for a long time you can kind of recognize it so before I even played it I didn't even remember that that was a mistake but I can I could sense and see that it was a mistake because the audio looks similar so I'm going to play so I made a mistake again here <laughs> so there you go it starts from here so I'm gonna click it click it and then control backspace play okay clicking that clicking that split there we go and then there we go Okay, click that. It's got over 70 tutorials and it's got over... It's got over 70 tutorials and if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend checking it out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. So now that's the end, so I'm going to delete all this and then I talk about a Camtasia course that I have, so I usually have an image pop up during that time. Okay, so from here I'm going to head over to a library because I have a an image that I already have here preloaded because I talk about my Camtasia course. So when I talk about it at the end of the tutorial, I want this to pop up on the screen. And then I'm going to stretch it out. Okay, so I want it to go from there to there because that's how long I'm talking about it. And I usually have the behavior pop up, so I headed over to favorites. And then I dragged, I'm going to drag the pop-up, and then in the during, I'm going to slow down the rotation of it because it uh, does this waving thing that's really aggressive, and I only want it to uh, do it down to this amount because if I leave it to original, the picture is going to be waving like crazy and it's going to be too distracting for the viewer. So you can see there's slight movement in it. Okay, so it does that, and then it looks like I'm all done. So you can see that when you do all that stuff in the beginning, that um, by the time we get to the end here, I'm ready to render this out. These are our, you know, easy tutorial videos that I do on Camtasia, YouTube, that kind of thing. I have a sort of standard procedure. So now that I'm all finished, I head up here to share go to local file, I'm now ready to render this out. So I'm going to go to mp4 1080p, click next. Alright, so this video is Camtasia 2020, silence audio all at the same time. I'm gonna, I always put the word final in all capitals so I know that that is the final version of the video. And then from there I click finish and then it's going to render out, which basically means it's going to finalize and publish the video in its final mp4 format. So click finish. And then there you go, it is rendering out. Alright, so we are nearing the end here of the render. Okay, here we go, now the video is going to pop up. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel and then I usually just click around. I've personally done this enough times to to know when the video is going to be okay or not. Yeah, there are some times where I make mistakes, but because I've done this so many times, over a thousand times, literally, I've got a system down and when you have a system, then it makes the editing process a lot smoother, faster, and you can get out videos in a more timely manner. So from here, I'm going to go to open production folder and then I've got the final video, usually exit out of that. 
I've got my final video and then there you go. I'm all done. That is ready to be uploaded to YouTube and then on to the next video. So that is how I edit tutorial videos in Camtasia 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.